Hello everyone, welcome back to Naspedia and today we're going to introduce QMix for automated workflow. And what is QMix? Actually, it is a solution provided by QNAP and it, where you can automate your tasks and not only for the NAS, though the NAS is the crucial part of it, you can uh, automate all your uh, files uh, across different platforms and this happens through QMix. So we will see that uh, also from the QMix.com webpage and also the QMix agent in the QNAP NAS. Therefore, I, once uh, I move to this uh, introduction, I want to introduce QMix at first as say it, how it works. So it has two parts. It is the trigger part and the action part. On the trigger part, we have uh, one of the applications that are supported by QMix where we set up the conditions of what will happen if this task, if this uh, uh, event is triggered, then what would be the action, which is the right hand side or the next uh, part where we will see the execution and the actions being taken on the other application. Therefore, as uh, we might see later on, it is a communication between applications and devices also, which is the QNAP NAS, to automate your workflow, especially when you have to transfer files from the cloud to back up them into the NAS and vice versa, or also between different apps uh, themselves. So I want to go and introduce QMix.com first, which is the website, and we're going to explore it slowly and see everything. But beforehand, I will just uh, go and introduce the web page as it is before going into the details. So let me see here. As you can see here, I have the QMix.com web page, and uh, we are under the okay explore. This is the explore part, the home page actually, and this is the popular apps that is greeting you here. And we have uh, the apps that are popular right now is FileStation, Date and Time, Google Drive, Dropbox, Line Notify, so you'll get notifications, Slack, and OneDrive. So basically, it has access to the popular uh, cloud service providers and also the FileStation, which is the authenticated. Uh, app manager in the QNAP NAS QDS and you have to check also QDS 441 with its amazing features all right so it also here we have the recommended mixes as I mentioned earlier we have the different apps that can communicate and integrate with one another so for example we have the date and time send an automatic birthday message in the specific date and time to line notifications. Also, backup Google Drive files to QNAP device. This is the one that I will be telling you actually how to establish it and how to run the mix itself. And similarly, you can also do cloud to cloud, Dropbox to Google Drive, automatically copy new files that you add on the Dropbox to your Google Drive. So, and so on, we have different uh, recommendations, but this is also as creative as you can be, that is up to you. This is just a sample of how the mixes work, and you can do the combination of however you feel like doing it. For example, there is another one, Slack to Slack here, right? Or uh, you can uh, decide to have what the uh, notification to Google Drive or any anything anything basically so you can lo load more Th these are the recommendations all right so this is the web page qmix.com which is uh, you see here it is on the beta version and uh, also later on uh, we will try to now uh, explore everything into details so we will see the settings we will see the explore page as we saw now we will see the settings, uh, we will go one step by step through the search button to see all my mixes, activities, and uh, how to log in and set up the account. All right. Okay, so let's go back here. So I will sign out 
for a while. So I just wanted to show the web page at first. So this is how it looks. You get started. You have this uh, our best mixes. The, this is the architecture that how it works and how it is communicating, for example, through file station with QMix agent and have all this architecture here and creating the mixes. All right. So also you can get the mobile app, which is free and depending on which uh, OS you're using either for iOS users or Android users, you can actually set uh, uh, easily, quickly set up the QMix uh, agent there and try to integrate and get all the benefits of it. All right. Okay, so if you don't have an account, you, you quickly sign up here by clicking here and then uh, you set up your account, or as we recommend you is to log in with your QNAP ID with a QNAP account, which it will be much easier and much faster also to do it as you already have a NAS and also to integrate the QNAP NAS as a device for the connection with uh, the QMix, all right? So let me add my username and password and try to sign in. Okay, and uh, yeah, we come back to the page as we initially were there. So now we're going to see, start from my QNAP cloud. This is my QID, so I'll start from this one and check the settings over here, account settings or profile settings at first. This is the information we will have, so we can set a first name or I'll just leave the nickname as a as it is, but also you can edit the photo and personalize it with the personal uh, avatar. All right, so also this is the gender, date of birth, time zone, where, where you are, and notifications that you want to have. So this is also for the e to email you as a notification or have the mobile push notifications on new tips and new features. This is mostly uh, about QMix itself if there are some updates or also uh, when uh, Mix has been deleted or deactivated. So you, it's up to you but you have the advanced settings here where you can go and manage the account at QNAP.com. This is the, your uh, account, uh, the, your QNAP ID management list and uh, you can also go check here for example what you want to allow how, where you want to log in with the QID so you can link it with different platforms check security and so on so I won't uh, stop much here on the account part but I will set I will see the connected accounts in uh, the QMix so you have to connect the accounts and beforehand I connected some of uh, the accounts for testing purposes and also to make this uh, video, even though it's going slow, to make this video quite faster for you. But uh, yes, I, I already did set up a Dropbox and the Google Drive. But uh, just to see how it works, I'll say reconnect, for example. And uh, we will see this uh, accounts, partner account authorization that we have to do it with one of the uh, for example, Dropbox or Google Drive or date and time. So whichever you want, but you can also set up and add a new account. So for example, here, okay. So you add a new account and it's very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to authorize uh, the service provider to be integrated with QMix. So I'll be using the Google Drive part for the testing purpose today, but uh, also I want to see the connected devices. So since you're connected with the QNAP QID, for example, for the mobile device, we don't have as any, but we have the NAS devices. Okay, so to connect the NAS device, you have to go to your NAS and go to App Center here where you can download the QMix agent. All right, so QMix agent is the QPKG of the QTS 
followed uh, with the latest QTS 441 that we have, where you have the opportunity to set, uh, connect the, the account with the QMEX.com and QMEX agent to integrate the NAS and have access to file station with it. All right, so go here. So as you can see, I already have QMEX agent downloaded, but for those that don't know, we go to App Center and you search for QMI. I. It, it is uh, double I, so if you don't get confused. And then if you uh, download it and install it, you are greeted by this window. And you have to make sure you sign in with the same account here in the QMix agent as you were signing here in QMix.com. Okay? So while this is loading, we can go also see the connection here so you have to check the connection of the QMix agent the connection status whether the, it is connected to internet and cloud link it is uh, for the QID and for proper communication between QMix agent and the NAS with the QNAP ID itself so if that is an issue to you what you can do actually is uh, you can go reconnect through the cloud link here and you can check my QNAP cloud ID you can you can check the connection uh, over here so the connection status is normal is connected but if you're having just go and uh, check it there this is uh, how you connect it all right okay so once we are here back to qmix.com we'll see the activity again and you see this is the device added so I added the device while connecting with the QMix agent and my QNAP cloud device name is RRNAS12 which is here RRNAS12 again and it, I'm using a model NAS of TS453B it is a great NAS, it is affordable and it is a well performing NAS not only for QMix but for all other uh, services that QNAP provides with the QTS and uh, other applications say for example that what we have here uh, other QPKG for, for photo station QMix agent we have uh, the QMAG actually is really good for that as we are talking about pictures photos and such and uh, most likely this is why you're going to use uh, the backup or the solution of QMix agent to automate uh, files for example photos to be moving from one place to another place by themselves uh, since you don't want to do that uh, by, your, by hand and one by one all right so okay so we checked the activity here so we have the activity page this is the notifications or they say the activity logs that I get as you can see I have the, the device NAS added now because I connected to QMix agent and uh, also checking my mixes is if you have created a mix here you will be see, uh, seeing one of those boards as we saw in the beginning of the video where uh, you will see the activity and which apps are here while you have the opportunity to edit them and configure them from here again we will come back to this part once I create the mix but I have to go through all uh, the buttons here and check the search button on the qmix.com well you see as this are all the apps that currently qmix is supporting but this doesn't mean that there are not uh, any other apps coming so this is the beta, beta version so we might see some other changes we might see some more uh, applications we might see some uh, say different features provided by QMix in the future but this is what we have for now and uh, you can also see while the number will be increasing you will see the recently added ones the popular ones the social networking uh, applications and uh, other product productivity and storage uh, solutions so this is the part that actually is interesting us the most and also the business part with Filio all right so we check that connected accounts 
All right, let's check that. We have in check connected devices. We have it in check. We have uh, the NAS back online. So we see, for example, view the connected apps, which is the file station with this NAS and uh, well, sign out here. Okay, so I want to go and uh, create a mix, but before I go create the mix, I want to let you know the again to repeat the part by creating a mix we have the communication between the trigger part and the action part where we have uh, these uh, applications integrated with one another and one is going to be a google drive cloud that i'll be using i'll uh, do the mix with file station actually with the device the qnap nets since you saw me adding it there and then I will try to set the features and the settings on uh, that way that if I upload a file in the Google Drive then it will have to automatically be uploaded back to file station which I will not be uh, worried about whether that uh, I, whether I have to do that manually or not so everything will be taken care of by QMix all right so let's go and now as i mentioned is create the mix so by clicking here create mix we land into this page which is actually self-explanatory what we have to do well on the left hand side we have uh, three steps so this is going to be the trigger configuration and we're going to choose the trigger app or one of the apps that is on our interest and uh, since I decided to use Google Drive and I have it here uh, ready so you choose the trigger Google Drive and then you select an account where I set the account beforehand but if you did, didn't do that then I go to the accounts uh, 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 added accounts add an account for the Google Drive and then you'll be able to have the opportunity to select the account as here as I have with my name however this the triggers so this is going to be the trigger that uh, we have so when a new file in folder triggers when new file is added to the Google Drive folder you specify no, does not work for Google files such as Google Docs, Sheets, Slides and Forms. So it has to be an uploaded file from your computer, say a JPEG photo or a Docx a Word document or Excel document and so on. All right, so once we do that, we select the folder in the drive that we want to. Click there, select the folder and uh, either you choose to have it there at the main place or I'll just use say QNAP okay so this is going to be my trigger site QNAP on the Google Drive create a trigger and then action configuration so in my interest right now to show you today is that I use file station and uh, you see what we have here is the TS-453B NAS uh, that we have connected it under the connected devices as we showed how to connect with QMail with QMix agent if I'm not saying QMail agent that's something else that is about email management anyway QMix agent and uh, we add our RNAS 12 well it's not done yet since we have to select the download file from the URL or download file from the trigger part which is the Google Drive so that path uh, we specify that it will download it okay so we have to set a folder path here and by setting a folder path say Google uh, Google Drive path you have to uh, note that this folder will be created under the path of uh, share under the shared folders that we have under public Q 
QMix, that's where it's going to be. So it will create a folder of QMix and this folder, Google Drive Path in the QMix folder, where you will be having all the files that you wanted to. And then you have to set, uh, for example, the file URL. So download URL here and the file name of uh, whatever you are uh, willing to download at this point. So this is as simple as that. So we create an action and we have here the confirmation Well, we review and finish it. So check the trigger part, the left hand side and the right hand side, the action part. Check if everything is right, if your account is correct, if your destination is connect and simply click finish. Well, here is the board that I was talking about and you have uh, the title or the title of the board where you can say when any new file detects in this path, download the file from a URL to the action folder path or NAS or you can set it as you want or shorter or you can uh, give a longer and much detailed uh, description of why you're doing this. So I'll just say uploading it for testing purposes on QNAP uh, NASpedia. So, all right. And then you check here and also you check this one if notifying me when this mix is inactive, when it's disconnected. So we click down here and yes, the mix was created successfully. Okay. So also by click the details, you see that uploading it for testing purposes on QNAP NASpedia as I was writing it. Also, if you check now, you see that the mix is activated and also it will be shortly be shown here as well. While we refresh the page, this will be seen here and the status is and the dashboard that we have here, the status is not run since we haven't performed any of the trigger part to do the action part. So it is on uh, standby mode, we can say so, but once we start uh, uh, doing something, when we start uh, triggering it, then we will see uh, the results of it. But also here from the dashboard on the QMix agent, you can simply click a, create a new mix and it will land you back to QMix.com page at uh, the same page where we were there by creating a new mix and you can simply do it from the NAS itself or view my mixes. We will be to the page where I will be seeing the board that I created, the mix that I created uh, beforehand. So also uh, we have QMix agent uh, here so we can mix, uh, sort them mix by title, mix by runtime, mix or run count. All right, so maybe mix by title. This is my favorite one to use, but also you can check the settings here. You can check the API documentation. So if you're interested on in the QMix agent APIs, there's where you have the documentation and they use it for your own purposes and maybe you can do and actually contribute on the development of QMix itself and also check for the QMix agent version here. So now let's go and try to see the task at hand, which means that uh, when any file detects in QNAP's uh, uh, path, so this will be the QNAP path for me, and I will try to upload a file there, and it should be, uh, I should be seeing it here under the file station, where we said that the QMix uh, will be under shared folders of public QMix here, and then we will have the folder of Google Drive uh, uploaded here of whichever was the name that we wanted to use. So upload the file and let me see what do I have here. All right, this one, the English cover. So I'm a, once I upload this one, it will have automatically to execute the task and give me the end result on uh, the file station 
public QMix Google Drive or whatever the name was of the folder I don't remember right now but it has to be there however while well, uh, you can also upload the total you can check the total runs here but you can also edit the board itself so you can go back and then say okay uh, this uh, connection is good I like this uh, mix and everything but I want to change now the trigger essentials or I want to change the folder which wants uh, to be triggered and for the action to be taken or I want to have a different path from now on with this, uh, with this uh, established uh, trigger but change the uh, path of the action or you can do and change both of them also you can see the view the execution history and then you can see the uh, execution history or as we see now we just did this is the success that we I uploaded the file beforehand in the Google Drive so now it is uh, successfully re uh, completed but I wanted to show you the settings so here uh, you have the success story history of trigger so it was triggered by uploading the file and the action was established and it is ENG cover uh, from the folder path of Google Drive file URL and it has to be on the file station there so we can go and check the end results of our NASpedia QMix creation today and see the result and maybe close this whole uh, tutorial if I might say for QMix Naspedia and I hope we provided you with uh, as many details as possible so you can understand what is going on here okay so while we have it here we also check the analytics and see the average response time was quite fast 58.55 milliseconds success rate 100 percent and so on and so on all right so I'll go back to my mixes as you have here and you can see the details and total runs as before was zero now is one meaning that the task at hand has been completed and you see Google Drive path was the path that I created at the beginning of the video for the trigger and then we see that uh, it has been uh, downloaded the ENG cover from Google Drive to the file station so this is how the mix works this is how that we have created a mix it is easy it is simple but I had to go into details and talk a little bit more if anyone is ever confused you can follow this video or we have a few other videos where they are shorter where if you are willing to simply learn how to do a certain task quite fast and you are not interested on in going on through the details of what QMix is offering you have all the choices out there so you just have to go through QNAP uh, live.qnap.com where we post a lot of videos over there and we by the search button there just click on QMix with two eyes don't forget and you have different videos on how to use it how to set it and how to take advantage of this application and uh, service provided by QNAP and also make sure that you have the QNAP NAS with yourself as I myself was using one of those I have a TS453B using for this video but they are all uh, different different types of NAS as provided by QNAP where you can go check that at QNAP.com official website so thank you everyone for watching this was QMix NASpedia with automated workflow for today and we'll see you next time bye